everyone how's it going so excuse my voice I'm getting over a sickness so what I got here is I got the first production batch of my PPF caddy that I designed and a company already stole I know it's taking a long time so I'm a little nervous about making a product and you know I want people to be happy and want it to work for me and you so uh, I took some changes and so here are some of the this isn't the original original Sergey has that this is the second batch um, it was a little bit too short and the squeegees were hanging out of the holes so we made it about a half an inch taller you notice and you see this also has a flat uh, smooth surface relatively smooth surface Sergey so uh, no dust should get stuck here or it should be easy to clean off if it does. And it's got holes in it, so everything should drain. And then um, we were initially going to do like a weighted uh, set, but with everything in it, it's pretty weighted down. And the issue with the weighted piece, which is this model, is it's actually multiple pieces glued together. And if you drop it, it's probably going to break. Now this, I don't know the terminology for 3D printed stuff, but this stuff is okay around heat. So it's not the stuff that will melt if it gets super close. Um, so, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. And let's just see how I have it set up with the blade cage. But it'll also work um, with this. And some of the holes are interchangeable, so you can... You know, this is a thicker blade, but like you could also, if you wanted, like a pair of tweezers or something that have like an angle at the end, that can work. And then like Mike Norris tucking tool, you know, fits in this hole just as a diabetic syringe does. And this blade set fits just like most do. Um, and so you got a lot of options, I think, you know, with a hard card and different sizes. You know, it does have a little wee bit of a grab. If you really cram it in there, it will like get stuck. And so it's like a cross between the wee. We don't want it too loose and flopping around because I want to be able to pick this up. I want to be able to pick this up. You know, I'm really nice and falling. So I use the blade cage now, thanks to Sergey. But you can see that I can carry this over the line. PPF trim. So like it's in there, but it's not so in there that it needs to. It's gonna fall out. So we're gonna be asking forty dollars for these plus shipping. We're gonna figure out the shipping. I'm going to try to find a flat rate box that works well from postal service. So I've got two gray and a pink and then one pink for me that is spoken for. So I have three pinks in the original shipment. Now what I'm going to do the honor system and this is what I want to do. This initial batch is going to take three uh, and then really the other ones and I'm going to charge you just the shipping cost. And then when you're happy, if you're happy or even remotely happy, I'm going to trust that my colleagues are going to send me 40 bucks, uh, which is the retail price, um, plus shipping. So let me know what you think, and uh, I hope to get these three pink ones out to somebody. And oh, by the way, thanks to Ethan's suggestion, uh, if, if requested, I'll be autographing and numbering each uh, each one.